Hey, what's up? Gleb here. Let me share a new free Blender add-on with you. It's called Render Burst. It's a batch rendering add-on that allows you to render a still frame from each camera. Ooh, it's a very simple add-on indeed. Oftentimes you just want to preview your camera cloud by hitting one button. And the way we do it in Blender usually looks like this. We select camera, press Ctrl Alt 0 on the numpad to make it an active camera, define the output, stuff like that, then go render, render image or hit F12. And even if you use Eevee and your render is pretty much instantaneous, you will still have to name the image, uh, try not to override some previous files and then go ahead and repeat this process for all the cameras in the scene. So when you have more than one camera in your scene, this process quickly becomes very tedious. And while there are some pretty cool batch rendering add-ons available, most of them are overcomplicated for that simple task. Some of them are not free and some of them uh, don't work in 2.8. So basically we decided, hell, we're gonna make our own free add-on for rendering all the cameras. Woo! It shouldn't be so complicated, right? So here we go, meet Render Burst. Uh, you can download it from GitHub. And actually, you can contribute your own code if you wish, if you know how to make it even more simple. All right, so if you want to download it, go to our GitHub page. The link is in the description. Click on this link, uh, then save the archive with the add-on somewhere. And after you unzip it, you will see the test scene with the duck and also render burst for 2.79 and render burst for 2.8, that is without any suffix. Then go over to Blender, use a preferences, add-ons, and hit the install add-on from file and navigate to where you unzipped the archive. I'm gonna select render burst without any suffix because it's render burst for Blender 2.8. After that you will just have to activate the add-on. It can be found in the user category or just you can search for it. Then tick the checkbox near its name and don't forget to save preferences, otherwise the add-on will be gone next time you open Blender. And next you can navigate to the render tab and you will see the render burst menu. It just has three buttons. All cameras, select it only and render. So by default the add-on renders all the cameras except the cameras that are disabled in the viewport. Check this monitor icon. And by the way, it's not the same as hiding the cameras in the viewport. And we also have the selected only mode, which is pretty self-explanatory. Render only the cameras that are selected. So once you hit the render button, you will probably see this error, output path not defined. And what we need to do is just go to the output settings, define the render path just like we usually do. So I will just create a new folder, hit accept and we are good to go. Now we can hit render and enjoy the batch rendering of all cameras in the scene. And look at this, even though we launched the script, Blender remained completely responsive and we can even stop the execution by hitting escape. So even though the plugin is pretty simple, uh, the code, the code inside is very sophisticated, kind of. Okay, so if everything went fine, we should see all the images dumped into the output folder. And now you can post it to your Twitter, show it to your friends, find a fresh pair of eyes. And basically this is pretty cool. We saved ourselves a little bit of time. Now we can go ahead and make some changes to the scene, add the displacement modifier and hit render again. Oh goodness gracious, look at this duck. Just look at this. Well, I shouldn't have added the screw modifier because I screwed it. Okay, fine. Again, if you really want to disable the collection, don't hit the eye icon because uh, this is the context dependent thing. Uh, instead, use the monitor icon. This way you can quickly set up the cameras for rendering by distributing them to different collections. So for example, here we rendered the first set of the cameras and now I will make the second collection visible. And now we have three cameras more and when we hit render we will see them all. And by the way, one cool thing that we can do is enable the metadata and enable the burn into image checkbox. That will burn some information like the render time, the memory footprint and the name of the camera into the image itself. It's great for debugging and for telling which render is from which camera. So it's a nice little feature that works great with the any batch rendering solutions. And also we can use the selected only mode uh, to choose what cameras are rendered. So despite uh, having only three buttons available, look at the number of options you have. It's amazing. Actually, it's pretty mind blowing if you think about it for a second. All right, folks, and one more quick tip that I want to share with you is that we can use pure ref. 
the free image viewing software to organize, preview and automatically update the images that we batch rendered in Blender. So we can load a few images into pure ref and by the way they retain their original resolution so we can take a closer look at these images after we batch rendered them and especially if you use cycles and not EV and your model is pretty darn complex like this one batch rendering the camera cloud method uh, is getting pretty cool it really saves a lot of time by allowing us to fast track through the repeatable rendering process and that's what I love about the simplest Blender add-on ever called Render Burst. That was cool. And one last tip, if you go over to the settings of PureRef, you can disable the Embed Local Images in Save File checkbox and then refresh the images by saving the PureRef file and loading it again. That means that we can, for example, change the material or do whatever you want, uh, re-render it using the render burst add-on, and then go load, load recent, and reload your file. Now look at this. Oh. So we developed this plugin with AD Barus and also my brother Roma joined in and helped us to polish it. That's much appreciated. Thanks for helping us, Roma. All right, if you want to download the add-on, feel free to follow the link in the description and let us know what you think in the comments below. Is it useful or is it stupid? Or maybe there is some other add-on that does exactly the same thing. That being said, I bet it doesn't have a disfigured duck.